Representing the Indian perspective on the news are tonight, Maruf Raza, Times Now, strategic affairs expert from Delhi, General G.D. Bakshi from Delhi, and General Jaswal, former Army Commander, Northern Command, is joining us from Chandigarh. We are connecting three cities in Pakistan tonight, representing the Pakistani point of view. Uh, General Rashid Qureshi, former spokesperson to Musharraf, live from Islamabad, Admiral Jawed Iqbal, defense analyst from Lahore. And Zafar Ilaili, my first question is to you, your former Pakistani ambassador to the United States, and you are in Karachi this evening. Now, Zafar Hilali, you know, this is a classic military ambush. This is not a terrorist attack at all. And it would do Pakistan a lot of good if that instead of embarrassing yourself by risking exposure later, as has happened in the case of Kargil, that you admit that you did carry out this intrusion and willingly try and interrupt the peace process, which you yourself seemed enthusiastic about till a few weeks back. Zafar Hilali. Well, you... Well, you know, while I was coming to the studio, as I was climbing the steps, I was, I was met by a Pakistani who works in this studio, and he actually he's in the other room. He's the cousin of the man who the Indians killed in Kashmir, and he attended their burial last week. We did not make such a song and dance about it as you do. But he was, he is here. If you like, you can ask him. He, he very much wants to tell you exactly in what shameful I, uh, circumstances I that Pakistani soldier was I, killed. I can, I can understand, Zafar Ilaili, that you don't want right. to talk about what happened at Chakandabag area, 200 kilometers away from Jammu, when at 1 a.m. No, there was an ambush I, I, on a six-member Indian patrol. And you can ask, you can ask Rashid Qureshi whether insurgents and, carry uh, uh, out ambushes on army patrol routes or whether terrorists carry it out. Rashid Qureshi will himself well, tell you people, that this is an your, army operation. Your people, your people have themselves said that they were terrorists involved. That's the first question. Secondly, uh, two days ago in Mirpur, four Pakistanis were abducted by the Indian army who crossed 460 meters into Pakistan and abducted them. I have their names. If you want, we have written to the UN and we have written to you <coughs> and we have said that these people should be returned. Now, the fact of the matter is, please. So we don't, no, nobody believes the ISI. The blame is only on one side. Now, my point is uh. this. These incidents will occur and continue to occur as long as you in Kashmir Go you know, don't go down that beaten path. Don't go down that beaten path, Zafar Ilaili. Don't go down that beaten path. I'll get Maruf Raza into the debate because I think that Nawaz Sharif, your Prime Minister, unless the Prime Minister is not of any relevance and unless Pakistan has become a banana republic, uh, peace with India was one of the themes of pa Nawaz Sharif's election campaign, wasn't it? And since he has come to power, Maruf, there have been 57. 57. A such incidents of ceasefire violations this year alone, and this is the fifth major violation in less than a month, Maruf. Oh, no, uh, whatever evidence Mr. Halali wishes to put across to us, we can always put across counter evidence and perhaps much more alarming uh, counter evidence. But the point to understand is the following. Firstly, in the case of Pakistan, since the days of General Zia, <coughs> When he decided to bleed India by a thousand cuts, primarily in Kashmir and elsewhere, there has been a very, very thin line, if at all, between the operations of the army and that of the jihadis. It's a known fact that the jihadis in Pakistan use the army bases as launch pads and are often supported by army units in their efforts to enter into Indian territory. This latest ambush is a classic military ambush and ambushes are normally not carried out by terrorists and jihadis because they specialize in hit and run operations or suicidal attacks. They don't wait and wait to hit out a few soldiers and announce their arrival. So classically it's been a case of a military operation. Now what for me is really of concern is that Mr. Nawaz Sharif is talking of peace with India, but there is evidence and some writers within Pakistan and from outside the international community have been showing that he has certain linkages with hardline groups Precisely. and therefore is not willing to dismiss them or punish them or bring them to book. In fact, <coughs> his brother, Mr. Shahbaz Sharif, has gone on record to say that uh, the Pakistani uh, PML in Punjab 
has been even funding madarsas in murid ke which we classically know and i quote from the book storming the world stage the history of lashkar e toiba in which the mudir ke murid ke madarsa which he has been funding as a charity institution is clearly the recruitment ground for the elite no, so this is a known fact no no since this is this is a known fact no, no, since, 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 where the no, governmental no, support is available no, this is this is this is this is a known fact even so, rashid okay, qureshi now, even now rashid qureshi will admit tonight no 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 when rashid qureshi for example maruf maruf when rashid qureshi was military spokesperson to musharraf He I, never admitted. The big question for he me is the big question. He okay. Go ahead with your question. I'll come after that. Oh, oh, what I want to say is that there are two things. One is that in the case of Pakistan Army, there has been a long history of the army masquerading as uh, an irregular force from the days of General Akbar Khan in the forty-seven, forty-eight operation. Agor Ayub Khan has been on record to say Operation Gibraltar, 5,000 irregulars were launched by General Ayub Khan along with the army. That's Musharraf a known fact. Time, it happened in Kargil. That's a known fact. The But the pointed issue to understand is that the army does operate with irregulars in Pakistan. Irregulars don't wear Pakistan army uniforms, as our defence minister has said. There were people in Pakistan army uniforms, which clearly which, defines exactly. for me so the role that. of no, the no, Pakistan army. No, no. So we, so we know that, and everyone ambush. in Pakistan Now, knows that. The big question is no, that no. is it, the big. question is is okay now the big question is is pakistan wanting to lose this window to get a of peace arrangement with india of course or a do. few days down the line india would be so big strategically that it will have no i I'll, i'll now give the floor kind of i'll i'll give the pakistan i'll give the floor to general continue to i now maruf pakistan. i'll have to interrupt you there to let the other pakistani speaker in and i give the floor to general rashid qureshi and general rashid qureshi you know okay. you are you are a veteran of kargil and you know that uh, even musharraf now you know who you worked under has admitted kargil and he has acknowledged kargil and he is in fact gloating about kargil and choudhry nisar khan nisar ali khan told reporters that more the two, the, more than 500 pakistani soldiers were killed in kargil and you had even disowned their bodies at that point of time this strategy that you are adopting has already been seen through by us and it been seen through by the entire world the entire world has seen through this strategy and i i i don't want to push the point but i agree with the ramaruf that 1947 48 you denied you know the facts in 65 you denied you know the facts the beheading you denied you know the facts kargil you denied you know the facts general rashid qureshi why are you doing it again and again what is your motive <laughs> pranam uh, whenever i listen to you uh, it just makes me laugh uh, that uh, you come to a discussion with a fixed issue in mind right. which you want to impose on your listeners and you want to prove in some way or the other yes. that pakistan and the pakistan army is responsible for everything that happens every wrong that happens no so on you are borders. admitting that kargil was what a wrong you forget? what you're you are admitting that kargil was a wrong you by forget? saying that yes, general kureshi no, you are admitting that kargil was a wrong hold on hold on just a quick or your problem is your problem is the pakistan is the pakistan army is the pakistan army so incompetent that is the pakistan army so incompetent there is no point in a discussion okay let him complete let him complete let him complete go ahead yeah let me first sir just a small point let him complete maruf no no i think you laugh you want to laugh of it or nabs assertion but is is the pakistan army is the pakistan army so incompetent that jihadis are walking discussion. past their posts without their knowledge Now, you are going to continue to speak while i am speaking nobody will hear you well, nobody will hear me it's pointless then carrying out a discussion when you can't stop speaking no. and you can't uh, listen to a point of view in the context that doesn't agree with your opinion no, no, the, the problem is that when zafar halali saab was speaking no, i was just asking and, another added uh, question pranab both of you were interrupting him and did not allow him to complete his argument then you ask a no, question of no, me by no, quoting time and again no, by quoting time and again and then before i can start speaking now maruf and you keep interrupting so there is no point in a discussion if this is the attitude that we are going to have What? I I uh I I just want to say one thing to you sir. Okay, go ahead one, sir. One second, one second, one second. I I think it is Musharraf who said and I quote after he returned to Pakistan in May 2013 that I am proud of the Kargil operation. 
when he did not have the guts to accept even the bodies of his own soldiers. Why is he saying in May 2013 that he is proud of the Kargil operation and may I request you Rashid Qureshi to tonight on the news are prove me, prove to me that Musharraf did not say that? You see, now your problem is you start a discussion on one point and without listening to argument, you start talking about something in the past, which... Something in the, the way, past, it's which, Kargil I'm way, talking about. Which... Now, no, 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 hold on, hold on here. Well, shall we talk about East Pakistan and how Indian Army infiltrated into East Pakistan? Yes, I, I, we are happy to talk about the thunderous defeat that the Indian Army carried out in East Pakistan, we? about the way yeah. in which we finished off shall and vanquished the Pakistani Army in response to your attempts at repressing oh, the people of Bangladesh. Fantastic. So we can talk about that. And you also the generosity it. which we that showed by, you are, you are today, by, by, you by are giving away 90,000 EOWs. That it was in the, yes, now. Therefore, you are admitting today that it was interference by the Indian Army and the Indian government which uh, you, caused Pakistan to split into two pieces. Wait, did Is you that not what see, you're admitting? Did you not see the Pakistani general signing? No, no, one second, one second, It was a military operation of in support of humanitarian issues. Absolutely, in which the Pakistani uh, forces had to uh, agree Fan, to an abject surrender. Fantastic. But that's not the point. Fantastic. The po no, fantastic. Fan well, yes. General Qureshi... That, that, that's not the point. General Qureshi... Anything that India General does Qureshi, come back to the point. General Qureshi... General on the border... General, happens on the border general qureshi you can't blame pakistan Gen for Gen it there's no point general in that. qureshi please tell me why following the latest revelations by a close aid of musharraf there was no option but to seek the formation of a judicial commission to conduct an inquiry into the kargil episode and i am quoting not myself but pml N leader Chaudhary Nisar Ali Khan, who said this outside parliament. Now tell me who's making things up. What I'm telling you today is that just in the way that you are completely disregarding the direct role of the Pakistani army in carrying out the killing of these five Indian soldiers. Similarly, a few years back, you disregarded your own government's role in Kargil. And we are asking you today why you are doing that. Who will believe you when you're doing that? Can you tell me why, General Qureshi? No, fantastic. If we go into Kargil operation, you will come to a conclusion, an impartial observer will come to a conclusion that the Indian Army and what you keep doing within Kashmir as well as on our borders was the cause of this. I, now, if we start well, I, discussing that, then we will not go further in what you wanted no, to we, discuss we, today, no, no. Which, was, which was according to you, uh, an ambush of an Indian patrol inside Indian lines. Sir, I am going back into history. I now need to get the other panelists Fantastic. in, but I want to tell, I want to get tell uh, Zafar Eleli, you and Javed, uh, Javed Iqbal, as well as Jiri Bakshi and General Jaswal, that why am I going back into history? I am going back into history because in 1947, in 1947, when you sent well-armed raiders into Jammu and Kashmir, you denied your hand in the invasion and you reluctantly accepted their involvement only when the presence of the regular army personnel was detected in JNK by UN observers who were deployed there after the ceasefire agreement in 1948. So 1948 to 2013, 65 years, Fantastic. a same strategy, General Bakshi. The same strategy, okay. Javed, Admiral Iqbal, you're getting restless, but you have to admit absolutely, tonight, it's the same abso strategy. Absolutely. You, you see, now tell me, uh, if I would, I would like to point out age, that it has it been it is that 48 was not? Hello. You, watch your watch argument watch. is so, you know, uh, illogical that if you yeah. could go to Bangladeshis for humanitarian aid, why Pakistani couldn't go to Kashmiris for humanitarian aid? And let me let me just explain that. Let me just explain that, Admiral. I'll answer there that. There were ten no, let, let million Jen Pakistani refugees. Uh, uh. There were three. You know, you know, you know. There were ten million Pakis East Pakistani refugees. Then Bangladeshi refugees pushed into India and imposed an intolerable burden upon us. There were three million oh, Bangladeshis on. killed. There were two hundred thousand Bangladeshis. Bangladeshis, kindly hear me out, Admiral. Kindly hear me out. 
Let me finish. You do, no, you, you, you don't. There you were don't three million Bangladeshis case. killed and two hundred thousand Bangladeshi women raped. All these people, ten million refugees, <laughs> have, have been pushed Indian into Indian army Indian raped in Kashmir. You, how many Indian army have killed in Kashmir? Oh, forget how it. Many forget girls it. They have raped. Forget it. There are n number of human rights organizations working there. Why don't you give the there. statistics also?